public quickie. Another division in the crypto world is that between coins with a public ledger and privacy coins. The original Bitcoin was made with a public ledger. It's a public list of transactions as coins are sent from one wallet to another. But although there's nothing in the blockchain itself that can identify someone, there are ways of associating addresses with people in the real world, and other information such as the time and the value of the transaction can give people ways of de-anonymizing the data. Others, such as Monero, are encrypted and hashed, such that no one who isn't a party to the transaction can see the details of it. All of the information is hidden. The Monero people say that this makes their coin superior because it's more secure. On the other hand, others, mainly governments and their apologists, say it's horrible that money launderers and child traffickers can hide the evidence of their crimes that way. Interesting how they always bring up child traffickers, isn't it? Other coins, such as Dash, are public coins that give you a privacy option. There are also services such as CoinJoin that run on traditional cryptos like Bitcoin and can give you a privacy option. There are good reasons to want to have your transactions public. Maybe you're a charity and you want to keep your finances open and transparent. That'll be much easier with a public coin. But at the same time, there are reasons for private transactions that go beyond criminal activity. What if you're paying employees? Employee salary data must be kept private. Don't just put it on a public blockchain where everyone can see it. The BitTube developers made a privacy coin because of airtime. You don't want people's browsing data to be in a place where it could potentially be de-anonymized to the entire world. Also, beyond privacy, there's an issue of fungibility. If a coin was used to do something nefarious in the past, that shouldn't reflect on whoever's using that particular coin today. But in a public blockchain, you could be affected by that. But just one private transaction along the way resets that coin's history, ensuring fungibility. This isn't about one way being better than the other, or one way only being there for criminal activity or anything like that. It's about being able to choose the way that suits your needs at the time.